In this video, I'm going to answer a question uh, a little differently that I actually got uh, on text message. Now, those of you who uh, know, I spend my days answering questions on social media, Twitter, on uh, Facebook, on uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube. I'm even answering questions from friends and family and other extended uh, gym army members right on uh, my text message and today's question i'm answering comes from a very well-known gym army uh member anthony tour now for those of you who know anthony uh you know that he went from being a fat uh, military man to a lean mean uh fighting gym army member only now he's fighting to spread the word uh fitness and fighting time as he's getting older he's actually getting better and now he's a competitive physique athlete he never thought that possible but, but anthony's question is is there any benefit to carb loading uh if you train in the morning now let's clarify what carb loading is now the real real definition of carb loading is where you carb uh, supercompensate, meaning you uh, glycogen supercompensate, meaning you build up more of the uh, carb storage form in the muscle, that glycogen. The more uh, glycogen you have, the more energy, direct energy the muscle has. Also, uh, the more glycogen you have, the more water gets pulled into the muscle, so muscles uh, are fuller. So you use carb loading if uh, you're an endurance athlete, like running a marathon, or you use carb loading uh, if you're a bodybuilder to make your uh, muscles look fuller because, like I said, if you supercompensate how much glycogen they can hold more than they normally can hold, then they normally hold more water. That water is good water. It's on the inside of the muscle, makes the muscle uh, fuller. So you can read about that in my uh, Reach Your Peak article on how to prep for a contest or a photo shoot or whatever uh, day you want to look uh, your best. But now, uh, what Anthony's really referring to is not carb loading, because carb loading, that, that glycogen supercompensation, only, only lasts for a short period of time. Then the muscles get, get used to it, and they just hold normal levels. That's why you have to carb deplete to overshoot what they normally hold just for a short period of time. But if you're training in the morning regularly, that means you're eating carbs uh, prior to uh, the workout. So what he means is, should you be... Uh, consuming, focusing in carbs the day uh, prior to your workout? And, and the answer is yes and no. Uh, the real answer really is depends on your goal. What is uh, your goal? Are your workouts more performance-based? Then yes, you definitely want to be uh, focusing on higher carbs. Are you going to build out all-out mass like uh, with my six weeks to sick arms uh, program? then yeah, you're definitely going to be focusing on carbs uh, after your morning workout or which means prior to that next day's morning workout. Those are the carbs that are going to be used uh, for that workout. Now the question is, are those carbs really necessary? The research actually shows that uh, when subjects follow a low-carb diet, even typical weight workouts where they're doing three sets of 10 to 15 reps, performance isn't hindered whatsoever by the lack of carbs. So carbs really don't come into play until you're getting into more of a high intensity interval training uh, and whatnot. There, if you want more performance, uh, then yeah, have your carbs. If you're going for aesthetics and trying to maximize fat loss, then you might not want to have those carbs because of your diet and the stage that you're in with your diet. So. It really matters on your diet. If you're trying to maximize muscle mass, yes. Follow uh, my muscle building nutrition rules. You can get those at gymsupplementscience.com. And I show you how to build the diet based on when you train and you'll see you're getting your carbs post-workout for that one workout, but really that's pre-workout for tomorrow's uh, workout. So I hope that answered your question. Uh, Anthony and anyone else who may uh, have the same uh, question. So it really depends on your goal. Keep those questions coming, guys. I'll keep the answers coming. And as always, stay gym army strong.